Dakota has an incredible worldliness to her, but at the same time there's a sweetness and the fact that she had those two qualities was quite rare in one person. Good evening, Mr. Gray. That really was what drew me to her. And from then she had an intensity and a soulfulness that really shone through as we moved on with the role. At the beginning of the film, Anna has never had any sort of romantic relationship with anyone. She throws herself into literature instead of boys and parties. Did you give me a hand out back? Yeah, I'll be right there. It's not that she hasn't been interested, it's that she's never been ignited by someone before. You're my hero. Rope, tape, cable ties. You're the complete serial killer. Then she meets Christian, and you can visually see her go through a change in the film. You look beautiful. Mark Bridges, the costume designer. Big smile now. Made it so that you see her body start to look more womanly and more adult and more sophisticated and classy as opposed to a conservative girl. I need more, I want more. That's not something I know. Then there's the emotional aspect and I think that we really captured that. Good evening, Ms. Steele. Mr. Gray will be joining us there. What I really wanted was to have the sense that there was this young girl who's seemingly falling prey and victim to power, success, and gifts, and all of those things. Christian, that's a car. You don't miss much, do you? Who ultimately flips everything around and becomes the powerful one in the relationship. Business meeting. And that arc and journey had to be very delicately played. Dakota played it absolutely pitch perfectly. I'll review all these changes and try to arrive at a decision. You want to leave? Thank you for the meeting, Mr. Gray.